Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy Dave's here. Crap. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Dave, and today we are cooking eggs in purgatory. Purgatory. <laughs> Are you trying to take over my channel? What's up guys, it's your boy Dave here and on today's episode we're making eggs in purgatory. I have my guest chef, my son Hayden, and we're going to do this together. This is a super easy dish that you can do at home. First part of this dish, we're going to start the tomato sauce. Uh, you want to start with whole quality ingredients, right? So. I like to use San Marzano tomatoes for my sauce. You could use any tomatoes, really. Um, you know, these are whole peeled tomatoes. We're actually gonna run these through a food mill first. It's going to basically break them up, and it's not gonna put a lot of air into the tomatoes, right? You could get tomato sauce, or you can get crushed tomatoes or something like that, but my personal preference, I like to start with whole peeled tomatoes, run them through a food mill. That's just basically the way that I've been taught and the way that I like to do it. So. Then we're going to take an onion, we're gonna fine dice this onion, we're gonna sweat it down with some garlic. Once that starts cooking, we're gonna season this with just some salt and pepper. Super simple, right at the end, throw in some fresh parsley, grate some cheese, and that's it. So let's uh, go ahead and get cracking with this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with our San Marzano tomatoes. We're gonna open up this can, and we're going to go ahead and run it through our food mill. So, but we're gonna go ahead and open this can. We're gonna put it right here, and then you're gonna hold this really tight, okay? And then you wanna start turning that, okay? Don't open it all the way. You're gonna open it up just to the end of it, okay? So while he's actually opening up the San Marzano tomatoes, we're gonna turn on our heat on our cast iron pan. Okay, so we're actually using a cast iron pan. Why? Uh, well, why not, right? I mean, it's a cast iron pan. This thing's been seasoned. I've had it for years. You don't have to use a cast iron pan. You can use a Dutch oven. You could just use a, uh, you know, a regular kind of, you know, two inch lips saute pan at home. Um, whatever your preference is or whatever you have, but personally I like to cook in cast iron pans. So we're going to ahead, go ahead and turn this on. So we're going to turn this on and we're going to basically let it heat up a little bit, dice up our onions and start sweating everything down. Okay, so for the onion, I have a yellow onion. This is actually a yellow sweet onion. You could use a white onion. Um, I would stay away from red onions, but basically I personally like the sweetness of the yellow onion. I think it helps out with the sauce. So we're actually going to dice this. Um, if you do not know how to dice an onion and you're new to this channel, I'll show you the proper way how to dice this onion. So basically we're going to take off this little butt piece right here. I'm going to peel back just the first layer, okay? I'm going to cut little slits right here, right? So the thinner you go right here, the smaller the onion's going to be. Um, I usually go probably about four deep. Right, so then you're gonna turn the onion and you're gonna go down it like this. And then you're just gonna go all the way through. So then you're gonna turn the onion and you're gonna get, go really nice, small dice like this. And there you have it, that's how you small dice an onion. Super easy, super basic. Let's get on to cooking. We're gonna start off with a garlic clove, okay? I took this garlic clove and I just cut it in half. We're gonna use this basically to season our pan, right? So we're gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to our pan and then the garlic clove and we're gonna throw on those onions and we're gonna get this sauce put together. So let's go. All right, so I'm gonna let Hayden take over this little segment. I'm actually gonna go ahead and start picking some parsley back here in the back. He's gonna take over. He's gonna show you how we start this sauce off. So let's go, you ready? Mm -hmm. Cool, I'm gonna pick some parsley. All right. So first, It's obviously going to be hot. We've had this pan on for a little bit. Uh, you know, you can tell your pan's hot once it starts to shimmer. So we've added our extra virgin olive oil, and we're just going to add this garlic clove in here. Um, you know, we can put a little. So basically, what that's going to do is that's going to just season our our cast iron pan. Right? We're going to let this go for a little bit. Um, so the garlic kind of caramelizes just a little bit, but doesn't burn. So go ahead and do that, and um, you don't have to move it, but just, yeah, just, yeah, just let, it, let it do its thing. Okay. Cool. 
All right, now that our garlic's kind of been in here, it's it's basically seasoned this pan up a little bit. As you can see on the bottom, we're getting a little bit of browning on our garlic, which is perfect. Um, this is just kind of adding the aromatics that we need. There's a little bit of garlic in here. We don't want that in there. Okay, cool. We're basically gonna take this out now, and we're gonna go ahead and go in with our onions now. And that's the sound you wanna hear. You wanna hear a little bit of sizzle. Uh, you don't wanna burn these onions at all. We're gonna sweat these down until they're nice and translucent which means you can see it through them if you didn't know what translucent means. We're gonna add seasonings as well right now, so I like a little bit of black pepper. Hayden, if you wanna come in with the salt. Go ahead and keep behind me. So Hayden's gonna add a little bit of salt. Not too heavy, I know you're a little crazy with the salt. Okay, is it good? Uh, a little more. Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay. All right, so we're gonna let these sweat down a little bit. Okay, so for the food mill, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these tomatoes and we're gonna put them into the food mill. Go ahead, Hayden. All right, pouring. Cool. So once those are in there, right, we're just gonna go ahead and just turn this little dial right here, right? If you put too much, you know, just make sure you go a little slow, you don't so you don't overspill or anything like that. Um, we're just gonna kind of mash these up. This is a pretty quick process. Um, what I like to do is kind of go, keep going around in a, what is that, clockwise, right? So go around clockwise, and then if you don't really see any progress, just kind of go backwards, and it will kind of pick everything up from the bottom, right? Counterclockwise. Yeah, there you go, counterclockwise. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mash these guys up. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we're looking for right here. We're getting a little bit of color. Uh, you know, a little bit of color isn't gonna kill you, um, but they're nice and translucent. They're looking good. We're actually gonna go ahead and go in with our tomato now. So we have our milled tomato that we milled earlier. We're gonna go ahead and put this in. Stir it up a little bit. And we're just gonna let this do its thing. It's gonna take probably around like 15 minutes, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. It's gonna reduce down a little bit and then we'll go in with the egg. So what I like to add to the sauce is just a little bit of dry oregano. I think it kind of adds to the whole tomato sauce. We're gonna go ahead and add that in right now. So we have some picked parsley that I picked earlier. We're gonna give this a rough chop. We're gonna set it aside. We're gonna add this basically almost right at the end of the sauce, uh, just to kind of add some freshness to the sauce. All right, while the onions are kind of sweating down and doing their thing right now, we're actually gonna go ahead and start with our bread. We're gonna use that garlic that we took out of the pan for this bread as well. So we're gonna just basically cut this bread right here. We're gonna cut this on a bias. Uh, on a bias means basically we're gonna do a, a long diagonal. We're gonna serve this with two pieces of bread, so we're gonna cut two nice long diagonal pieces. Hey, do you wanna go ahead and cut that? Yes. Okay, I'll show you how in a second. Bread is so, so hard, it's sharper than a knife. I'm gonna show you how to do this, okay? Okay. Uh, I'll do the first first piece and you do the second piece. So on a bias basically means we're gonna cut this at, a, at an angle, right? So what I like to do is actually just take this little butt off right here, okay? We'll set that aside and use it for breadcrumbs or we could use it for whatever, you know? So on a bias, we're gonna go right here. We're gonna cut that oh size of piece, God. okay? So that right there is on a bias. It's a nice one inch piece, perfect. That's what we're looking for. Cool, so you want um, Just until it's done? Just no, oh, we're just gonna cut two pieces right now, but. So watch your fingers. All right, perfect. Okay, so we have our bread cut right now. Uh, basically what we're gonna do is that, that garlic clove that we took out of the pan earlier, we're gonna just take this and we're just gonna rub it on both sides of the bread. It's gonna add a little bit of garlic, extra garlic flavor to our, our dish, right? So we can go ahead and do that. Garlic bread. Yeah, basically, right? Got mm -hmm. some garlic bread. And then we're gonna take a little bit of the extra virgin olive oil as well. And this just prevents it from burning when we put it in our oven. Put a little bit of garlic oil on, or garlic oil, a little bit of olive oil on here. Uh, I kind of like rub them together like that. And we'll set these aside. We're gonna throw these in the broiler and get a nice golden brown on these. Back to the bread. Boom, check this out. Okay, there we go. Look at that nice golden brown. That is what we're looking for. Focus, perfect, look at that. That is what we're looking for right there. 
We're gonna go ahead and season this with a little fresh cracked black pepper, a little bit of sea salt, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in our parsley. Okay, so our sauce has been cooking for about 15 minutes right now. As you can see, it's nice and thick. It's about the consistency we're looking for. So that's perfect right there. What we're gonna do next, basically we're gonna add our eggs, right? This is the big part of the dish, right? It's eggs in purgatory. Purgatory being our tomato sauce, and now we have our eggs. So we're gonna crack this into a separate bowl so we don't get any uh, shells into our tomato sauce. So Hayden, if you wanna go ahead and crack a couple of those eggs and put them in this bowl right here, help you out. That's good, we only need four. I don't know. Oh, you're throwing them away? Yeah, that's all I have for. Okay, so a tip for this, uh, basically to get your eggs in here, is what you wanna do is you wanna take a spoon, right? Use the back of the spoon and you wanna just basically put a little indentation on here. Okay, so we're gonna put a little indentation and we're gonna pour one egg, we're gonna move it. We're gonna put another indentation, pour another egg, move it, and then just basically repeat the process until all your eggs are in there. All your eggs are, you know, in your little purgatory sauce, your eggs in a basket, I don't know. We're gonna turn the heat up a little bit and let them poach. Uh, if you have a lid, you can cover it with a lid. I don't have a lid for this, so a trick to that is basically you could actually just use another pot and just throw this on there. We're gonna turn the heat down a little bit, let that simmer, do its thing. Let's check this bad boy out right here. Ooh, perfect, that is what we're looking for right there. Nice poached eggs, tomato sauce. Look at that, that's looking gorgeous. Okay, so that's basically what we're looking for. We're ready to go. I mean, everything's kind of coming together right now. Um, at this point, I've kind of cut the heat off, kind of letting it kind of just settle, uh, making sure all my egg whites are cooked through. Everything looks cooked through. We're good to go. So let's uh, go ahead and plate this bad boy up. So for plating this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and grab a bowl. But come in, I like to add a little bit of tomato sauce on the bottom of the bowl. This kind of adds a little bed. Then we're gonna take our nice, crusty, garlic bread that we have right here and add that to the bottom of the bowl. Then we're gonna take our poached eggs and place these right on top of the bread. And then we're just gonna kinda come in here and fill in all the little cracks and crevices with our lovely tomato sauce that we made. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and put all these eggs in here. No big deal. So basically that bread is gonna soak up all this delicious tomato sauce and it's gonna be a little crunchy surprise when we crack into these egg yolks and it's gonna kind of just all come together. Definitely wanna add a lot of Parmesan cheese. Uh, we love this here, so I'm gonna just add nice, fresh, grated Parmesan cheese just for the hell of it. I'm gonna add some Nice fresh parsley leaves for garnish. I even like to finish off with just a little more extra virgin olive oil right over the top. So there you have it, that's our eggs in purgatory. We're gonna dig in and enjoy this deliciousness. So there you go, this is our Eggs in Purgatory dish inspired by my mentor, Chef Ted Hobson. Be sure to check out his restaurant, The Bellwether. Thank you for being my guest chef today. So make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. What do you think about it? Really good, if I could stop dropping it. I'm proud of good. Amazing. Is it muy delicioso? Thank you guys so much for following along. I appreciate it. Remember, I post videos every Sunday now, so smash that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and make sure you turn on your notification bell so you can be notified when I post videos.